Hey, it's High Priest 37. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do some psychic messages from the Oracle decks that we have set up. I have the Angel Answers, the Moonology, and the Wisdom of the House of Night. And then I also have some cards that me and my DF made, some higher self messages. I just want to do a quick brief reading for you guys. I hope everybody's doing fine. Everybody's doing well. It has been crazy this year, and I hope everybody has a better next year too. All right, so we're going to start off with the wisdom of the house of night. I'm going to pull three cards. Divine Spirit, can I get three cards for the collective? All right. The first card we have out is obedience. Whether that's you being obedient to yourself or you following the rules or just, just being obedient is, is just wonderful. That means you're, you're a good listener. You pay attention. You do what you're supposed to do, which you should always do. The next card we have out is High Priestess of Fire. That's a lot of willpower, a lot of motivation, a lot of desire, a lot of go-getter energy. Let's pull one more card. Divine Spirit, can I get one more card for the collective? Spirit, can I get one more card for the collective? The Lion Spirit, can I get one more card for the collective? And the next card we have out is the Warrior. So this is basically like the Emperor card. So I could be picking up on masculine energy. But the Emperor is like the, the same thing as like the High Priestess of Fire. A lot of go-getter a lot of strength, just just being able, putting action in the thing. And also, you could you could use the cards as past, present, or future. So right now, you you might be an emperor, following your path, staying aligned to your to your true north node, and staying away from your south node or or any negative energies that could bring you back to where you don't want to be. Now we're about to pull some cards from the Moonology deck. The first card out we have is your hard work is paying off, so don't don't give up. Stay committed to whatever you're working on. The next card we have out is time to take action. Going back to that masculine energy, it's it's time. Your hard work is paying off, and you need to continue to do what you need to do. Also, if you haven't begun to take action yet, you definitely should get on it because the energy is right, the timing is right. And the next card we have is nothing is yet set in stone. So you definitely have to work hard for what you want. But what you want and what you desire can be achieved as long as you put the action behind it and, and stay dedicated. You got to stay dedicated to anything you anything you want to see progress, anything you want to do, because the dedication will take you farther than your talent will. All right. Now we're going to. Sorry about that. We're going to do some more. We're going to. Pick up some more cards. All right. The next card we have out is a fiery climax approaches. Let's see what else we can get. Divine spirit. What else do you have for the collective? All right. The next card we have out is conclusions are within reach. So basically, the energy I'm picking up on is a, is a lot of fire, which means a lot of action. The next card we have is balance, spirituality, and practicality. Let's see what else we can get. All right, the next card we have out is meditate and contemplate. All right, we have your dreams need a practical plan. Well, let's draw one more card. Well, actually, we got two cards, so I'm going to take both. Take a time to breathe out and surrender to the divine. So basically, there's a lot of energy building up. It's, it's a lot of momentum. I don't know what you're working on. It could be a new venture, new idea, new projects, new tasks, 
but continue to stick to the plan and continue to stay dedicated and focused. And if you have any questions or you don't know how to go about it, meditate and contemplate because your dreams need a practical plan for them to come to fruition. You can't just have crazy dreams, but not have any plan of action to make your dreams come true because then you're just going to be stuck dreaming. And at the same time, you got to balance spirituality and practicality. You don't want to be, you don't want to be off. So you have to balance the two. You have to do whatever's best for you. And we're just going to pick up some angel, some angel messages. If you have any questions right now, just keep it in your head and we'll see what pops up. All right. So the first card out is recovery. You could have you could have went through something, you could be going through something, but now is the time for rest and relaxation. Take a time to breathe out as we got down here at the end of the, the cards. And we also have surrender to the divine. So you might need a little bit of healing. You might need you might need that rest to rejuvenate your energy. All right, the next card we have out is peaceful resolution. Like I said, rest and recovery. You have the answers. It's it's already inside of us. Sometimes we think we have to go to outside sources to get answers, but sometimes you know what's best for you. Somebody else can't tell you what's best for you. Only you know what's best for you. Let's let's get one more card. One more card for the collective. I actually like this tree. It's pretty good energy. All right, and the next card we have out is take action. Like I said before, we got a lot of masculine energy. We have the warrior, we have the high priestess of fire, and also we had come out earlier, it's time to take action. So not saying it's necessarily a masculine energy, but it's it's definitely time to take action. You might have these, you might have a lot of ideas for 2022, but now is the time to put your foot on the gas. It's not time for you to get distracted. It's not time for you to just fall into traps of stagnancy, no growth. Now is the now is the time to really put forth your best effort. All right. And we're gonna pull some higher self messages to to finish out this reading. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna try to get three cards. That's too many. Let's pull two more higher self messages for the collector. Let's get one more card for the collective. All right. So the first card that came out is karmic debt is being cleared at this time. Stay strong. The second card we have is keep going. You are doing the right thing. Divinely guided. And the last card is it will all be revealed to you in divine time and trust the process. I don't know who's this reading for, but this is definitely a beautiful reading. You got all these things coming to you. you. Got all this spiritual abundance, and the divine is helping you co-create your own reality. So, like I said, going into twenty twenty two, keep your foot on the gas. Stay true to yourself. Stay true to your goals, and just continue to just stay focused and put your best foot forward. Always, always make your next move your best move. So. If if you're working on something right now, even if you're not working on nothing, now is the time to take action. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Don't be nervous. Just just go for it. Whatever you whatever you want, it's out there for you to get. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Thank you.